Poultry Insight is a series of videos about topics related to the poultry industry. This video is about food safety advancements. How did the modern food safety system develop? The modern food safety system in the United States can be traced back to the early 1900s as more people began moving from rural to urban areas and new methods were being developed to move food from the farms to the cities. Meat production was not standardized and various states had standards that differed from others. Everything started to change when Upton Sinclair published The Jungle, a book that alleged that beef was often produced in unsanitary conditions, in processing plants that were bug-ridden, adulterated, and advertised product with exorbitant claims. The reaction to these allegations prompted Congress to enact the Federal Meat Inspection Act to ensure that meat was wholesome, produced under sanitary conditions, and that label claims were accurate. Poultry and eggs were included in the Poultry Products Inspection Act of 1957 and the Egg Product Inspection Act of 1970. In 1993, an E. coli outbreak in the Pacific Northwest prompted the implementation of hazard analysis and critical control points, or HACCP systems, bringing a risk-based approach that enables the control of microbiological, chemical, and physical hazards in our meat supply and poultry supply that we use today. How is food safety implemented in the poultry industry? The poultry industry applies a farm-to-fork approach in order to provide safe poultry products for you and your family. To achieve continual progress in reducing and eliminating food hazards, several hurdles are placed throughout the supply chain. Starting at the farm, there are practices in place aimed at reducing the colonization of foodborne pathogens. Pathogens are microorganisms, in our case, such as Salmonella and Campylobacter, that can cause illness in humans. Pathogen control is achieved through vaccination, safe feed manufacturing practices, biosecurity programs, and the use of medicines when needed. When birds reach the processing plant, the farm-to-fork approach continues through several processes where the poultry is cleaned and sanitized before packaging. The final product is handled to prevent cross-contamination, minimizing the growth of bacteria and introduction of other hazards. These applications are scientifically evaluated to ensure that the control is adequate. Finally, as the poultry arrives to your home, you should also apply methods that will protect you and your family from foodborne illness. By keeping the poultry properly stored, preparing poultry separate from other foods, and cooking the poultry to a temperature of 165 degrees, you do your part in completing the process of farm to fork food safety. What are current food safety practices implemented at the farm? To make food safe, we start at the source. Live animals serve as hosts to bacteria, such as Salmonella and Campylobacter, and many types of these bacteria can cause illness in humans. In order to minimize these pathogens, several controls are implemented at the farm. Biosecurity programs encompass all areas of life production, such as cleaning and sanitizing farms, and administering vaccinations and medications under the care of a veterinarian traffic control, safe feed and water for the birds, and providing control environments through secure housing structures are also provided to minimize pathogen colonization. What are current food safety practices implemented at the processing plant? Poultry processing plants implement a multi-hurdle approach to food safety with the process designed to decrease microbial load on the finished product. From the moment a bird enters a processing plant until the moment it reaches a customer, food safety is implemented at every step. Daily processing operations start only after completely cleaning and sanitizing processing equipment. Each piece of equipment is dismantled for thorough cleaning inside and out. Preventive maintenance is applied at 
plant intervals to make sure each piece works at optimal condition. After cleaning, the equipment is inspected by company and federal inspectors to ensure that proper cleaning procedures have been followed. Employees follow good hygiene practices and sanitation procedures to prevent contamination throughout the process. The dressing process contributes greatly to the reduction in bacteria since the feathers and internal organs carry most of the bacteria. After this process is completed, the bird carcasses are thoroughly washed and chilled. Processing equipment has built-in self-cleaning features to remove debris and prevent accumulation while preventing cross-contamination. The equipment is also designed to allow the use of bacterial control chemicals recognized by the FDA as safe to further reduce bacterial contamination. These are all pieces of the hazard analysis and critical control points or HACCP system used for processing. What is HACCP and how does it work? HACCP is the system that is used to implement food safety measures in processing. HACCP stands for Hazard Analysis and Critical Control Points and is a systematic approach that requires the evaluation of every step in the process. The HACCP system minimizes or eliminates biological, such as salmonella, chemical, such as sanitation products, and physical hazards, like metal, plastic, or wood. After evaluating each step in the process, good manufacturing practices and sanitation procedures are incorporated to ensure that the process is not contaminating the product. Examples of this are the implementation of standards for employee hygiene, food contact surface cleanliness, and pest control. The process is evaluated at critical control points to ensure that standards are met in reducing and eliminating hazards. Controls may include temperature and antimicrobial application limits. If these limits are not met, the system is re-evaluated and adjusted in order to bring it back in control. Federal inspectors, along with company personnel, test, evaluate, and maintain the system to uphold control of hazards. This message was brought to you by the U.S. Poultry and Egg Association. Funding for this video was provided by the International Poultry Expo. Please support our exhibitors and we invite you to attend.